up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how ai is used in robotics so let's get into it all right so you've already wrapped your head around the basics of artificial intelligence you know the difference between narrow ai general ai and super intelligence and you're clear on machine learning versus deep learning and maybe you've even chatted with an ai chatbot or asked alexa to play your favorite song but now it's time to go beyond the theory so let's talk about where ai really comes to life in physical machines that can move act and even make decisions on their own we're talking about robots autonomous systems and smart devices and these aren't just futuristic toys anymore they're real, they're powerful, and they're changing our world. So by the end of this video, you'll understand how AI is used in robotics, what makes the system autonomous, and how smart devices use AI to learn, adapt, and assist. And most importantly, you'll be able to see how all of these parts fit together in your everyday life. All right, so let's talk about advanced AI topics. So think of advanced AI topics as real-world applications that go beyond just software. Instead of just running in the cloud or on your smartphone, AI is now baked into machines that interact with the physical world. You can think of your vacuum that can map your living room. You can think of a car that can park itself. Or you could think of a smart thermostat that can learn your habits and adjust the temperature without you lifting a finger. This isn't just software that talks. This is software that actually acts. Let's start with a crowd favorite, and that is robots. So when you picture a robot, what comes to mind? A humanoid machine, a factory arm that's assembling cars, or a cute robot dog. Well, all of these are fair game, but what makes them smart is artificial intelligence. So exactly what is a robot? Well, a robot, this is a physical machine that can carry out a series of actions automatically, especially ones that are programmable and interactive. And then when you add AI to the mix, then suddenly your robot can sense his movement, make decisions, learn from feedback, and adapt to new situations. And this turns a dumb machine into a smart, flexible agent. And here's some examples of AI-powered robots. So we have industrial robots, and they are found in factories, warehouses, and production lines. They use AI to detect objects, adjust their grip, and optimize workflow. An example, which you can see on your screen right here, are Amazon warehouse robots that can move shelves around to fulfill orders faster. There are also healthcare robots, and they help with surgeries, patient care, hospital logistics. An example of this would be the Da Vinci surgical system, which assists doctors in performing complex procedures with robotic arms that are controlled by human surgeons that are guided by AI algorithms for precision. You also have service robots, and these include robots that clean, deliver, or even entertain. An example of this would be SoftBank's Pepper robot, which can greet customers, answer questions, and even read emotions. You also have exploration robots, and they are used in deep sea research, space missions, and hazardous environments. An example of this would be NASA's rovers on Mars, where they use AI to navigate terrain and collect samples. So what exactly does the AI do inside of a robot? Well, for some, it can provide computer vision where it can recognize people, objects, and environments. Some of them engage in natural language processing where they can understand and respond to human commands. Some do reinforcement learning where they can improve performance through trial and error. And some do motion planning where they can figure out how to move around without bumping into stuff. So AI, this is the brain and robotics is the body. Now, without AI, a robot can only follow strict instructions. But with AI, it can react, learn, and even make decisions. All right, so let's talk about AI and autonomous systems. So an autonomous system, this is any machine or technology that can operate without direct human control. That doesn't mean that it's running wild, but it does mean it can assess its environment and make decisions on the fly. And guess what? AI makes all of this possible. All right, so let's talk about self-driving cars. And this is probably the most famous autonomous system with companies like Tesla, Waymo, and Cruise are pouring billions into making cars that can detect lanes, signs, and obstacles. They can predict pedestrian and driver behavior. They can decide when to speed up, slow down, or stop. And they can navigate unfamiliar roads without GPS micromanagement. And all of this happens in real time thanks to AI algorithms that are trained on terabytes of sensor data from cameras LIDAR, radar, and GPS systems. And when it comes to autonomous systems, they are often ranked on a scale from zero to five. And I'm not going to read all of this to you, but most self-driving cars today, they are stuck somewhere between levels two and three. Now, when it comes to being a true autonomous system or level five, we're not there quite yet. 
And then we have other examples of autonomous systems. So we have drones. So there are AI powered drones that can fly without a pilot, avoid obstacles and capture footage based on real time object tracking. You have autonomous ships. So companies like Rolls Royce are developing AI driven cargo ships that can navigate oceans without a crew. You have military robots and they're used for surveillance, bomb disposal, and even combat simulations. And these systems, they must make split second decisions under pressure. Now, what powers autonomous AI? Well, to achieve autonomy, systems that rely on what is called sensor fusion, and this is combining input from multiple sensors to understand surroundings. It also relies upon perception models where it can recognize objects and predict behavior. There's path planning where it can decide the safest and most efficient route. And then there are control systems where it can translate decisions into physical movement. And together, these form a closed loop of sensing, thinking, acting, and repeating. All right, next, let's talk about AI and smart devices. So if robots are the body and autonomous systems are the driver, then smart devices are like little AI assistants living inside of our homes, pockets, and workplaces. So exactly what is a smart device? Well, a smart device is any gadget that uses sensors, connectivity, and AI to understand your needs, learn your habits, respond to commands, and optimize tasks automatically. Now, unlike traditional electronics, smart devices are context aware. Basically, they're designed to make your life easier by doing things before you even ask. And here are some everyday examples of AI when it comes to smart devices. So you got smart speakers like Amazon Echo, Google Nest, or Apple HomePod, and they use natural language processing to understand your voice. They can answer questions, play music, control your lights, and learn your preferences over time. You have smart thermostats like Nest, and they can learn when you leave and return back home. They can adjust temperature automatically to save energy, and they can predict your comfort preferences over time. You have smartphones where they use AI for face recognition, photo enhancement, battery optimization, and predictive typing. Your smartphone camera uses computer vision to blur backgrounds or detect senses, and your apps recommend content based on behavior thanks to machine learning. You also have wearables like Apple Watch and Fitbit, where they can track steps, heart rate, sleep patterns, alert you if your heartbeat is irregular, and they can use AI to detect patterns that even doctors might miss. And you also have smart appliances. So you have refrigerators out there that can tell you when your food is expiring. You have washing machines that choose optimal cycles based on load type. And you have AI ovens that recognize food and adjust cook time. Now, smart homes aren't just about convenience. Overall, they're about efficiency, personalization, and proactive decision making. So when it comes to smart devices, exactly how do they learn? Well, AI and smart devices are often powered by edge computing, and this is processing data directly on the device instead of sending it to the cloud. There's also what's called federated learning. This is sharing learning across devices while keeping your data private. And then you have what is called behavior modeling, and this is recognizing patterns in your habits to make accurate predictions. And also don't forget, data is everything. So the more your device knows about you, the better it gets at serving you. Now, some people think this is creepy and some think it's cool, but you got to be the one that makes the ultimate decision on that. Now, all of these things have one common thread, and that is AI is the engine. So whether it's a robot in a warehouse, a car navigating traffic or a smartwatch monitoring your heart, the engine driving all of these technologies is artificial intelligence. Now, why does this matter? Well, understanding how AI interacts with the physical world helps you visualize the future of tech in your home, car, or job. It can help you make informed decisions about buying or using smart products. It can help you understand the challenges around AI safety, ethics, and privacy. And it can help you explore career opportunities in the field that blend AI with robotics, engineering, or user experience. So what's next in this space? Well, we're only scratching the surface of what AI powered machines can do. And some future developments include the following, such as fully autonomous delivery robots that are roaming sidewalks. They're going to have smart cities where traffic lights adjust to real time traffic flows. They're going to have AI enhanced medical robots performing precise surgeries with minimal supervision. You're going to have collaborative robots working side by side with humans on job sites. And you're going to have emotionally aware smart devices that respond to your mood or stress levels. Now, as these technologies grow, so do the ethical and legal questions, such as who's responsible if an autonomous drone crashes? What data should your smart speaker be allowed to collect? 
And how do we keep AI systems aligned with human values? Now, these are the challenges and the opportunities that come with living in an intelligent world. So to wrap this lesson up, AI isn't just about software anymore. It's crawling into our homes, driving on our roads, walking around in factories, and helping us live longer, safer, and smarter lives. Robotics gives AI a body, autonomous systems give it freedom, and smart decisions make it personal. Now, these advanced applications are shaping the future of how we live, work, and connect. And as AI continues to evolve, understanding these tools won't just be useful, it'll be essential. So the next time your robot vacuum maps your living room or your car parallel parks itself, Take a moment to appreciate the magic behind the machine. That is artificial intelligence at work. All right. Now, with all that being said, let's do some check on learning. So our first question is, which of the following best describes the role of AI in autonomous vehicles? Is it AI controls only the vehicle's air conditioning system? Is it AI is used to interpret sensor data, make real-time decisions, and navigate safely? Is it AI monitors the driver's health but doesn't influence vehicle movement? Or is it AI powers the car's radio and entertainment system? And the correct answer is AI is used to interpret sensor data, make real-time decisions, and navigate safely. So AI in autonomous vehicles is responsible for interpreting inputs from cameras, LiDAR, GPS, and other sensors to make decisions in real time, like braking, accelerating, steering, and avoiding obstacles. And this is a crucial function that allows autonomous systems to mimic human driving behavior. Next question, which of the following is an example of a smart device using AI for personalized user experience? Is it a basic thermostat with manual controls? Is it a blender with a single power setting? Is it a smart speaker that learns your music preferences over time? Or is it a television that only uses preset channels? And of course, the answer is a smart speaker that learns your music preferences over time. So smart speakers like Amazon Echo or Google Home, they use AI to understand voice commands, process language, and learn user habits and preferences. And over time, they tailor recommendations like songs or reminders, making the experience more personalized. And our final question, what ethical concern is most relevant when using AI-powered surveillance robots in public spaces? Is it the cost of manufacturing the robot? Is it the color and design of the robot's exterior? Is it the potential for bias and violation of privacy rights? Or is it the battery life of the robot? And the correct answer is the potential for bias and violation of privacy rights. So AI surveillance systems may raise serious concerns about data privacy, constant monitoring, and algorithmic bias, especially if facial recognition is involved. Now, ethical AI practice, this requires transparency, fairness, and respect for individuals' rights.